Hey, it's York Moore. I wanted to give you a quick update on what's happening with every campus. As you remember, every campus is a growing coalition of multi, multiple organizations that are coming together to reach every campus in the country with the gospel. And InterVarsity has been in the United States for 80 years, and uh, we're only on about eight, 900 campuses. If you add all of the collegiate ministries up all across the United States, uh, only about 23% of our college campuses have any kind of gospel ministry. And so this Every Campus Dream started with a partnership between InterVarsity and Crew, and now it's grown to multiple organizations. Over 40 organizations have come together uh, to do something about this, tr this dramatic gap in our campuses that have no access to the gospel. And so there's a growing coalition. Uh, we went live with our digital platform in December at Urbana and Crew on the Crew side with their winter conferences. And we're excited to see that because the goal this year is to physically prayer walk every single one of the nearly 5,000 college campuses in America. Not just pray from them, for them from the comfort of our, our couches, but to literally get up and to walk those campuses asking God that he would send his spirit, that he would raise up women and men who would do something incredible in these days, that they would start new gospel movements all across this country. And so we're excited about this. I wanted to do a couple of things to encourage you to be involved. You know, this um, growing coalition, I'm just going to share my screen, is brought together multiple organizations, church networks, planting networks, denominations, many different kinds of organizations are coming together to do something that we could never have done before simply by ourselves. And one of the things that we're going to see over the course of the next year to multiple years is a never before uh, possible digital platform for ministry partners to share data. You know, oftentimes the question is, I wonder who is doing what there? I wonder if there's a campus ministry there. I wonder if there's a church reaching that campus there. Well, now we know who's where. We're sharing data at an unprecedented rate. And so we've built this digital platform for ministries to share so that we can know who's where. Uh, we can generate leads by encouraging people to sign up through everycampus.com. And we can take those people who have a passion for the college campus and connect them right where they're at in their communities with other people who are wanting to reach their campuses for Christ. And so uh, this will be available uh, later on this year for churches, church networks. There's an interactive map. There'll be a, a robust uh, access to data that is being ported in from multiple organizations through our third party partner, a company called Glue. But over the course of time, we're gonna be able to share uh, in-depth reports on every single campus in America. I mean, it's just exciting, exciting times. And so but we're not just talking about organizations, right? This would be great if this was just a report on how Crew or InterVarsity or Chi Alpha or one of the many other partners that are involved in this Every Campus Initiative are reaching the college campuses for Christ. But we want you to be involved as well. And so we wanna encourage every single one of you to go to everycampus.com. That site went live back in December. And uh, uh, since then, we've had uh, about 800 campuses physically prayer walks. We have a long way to go. And so we're in March and organizations all across the country through events, through conferences, through gatherings, are going to be taking chunks of campuses. So we're gonna see hundreds at a time kind of peeling off but we desperately need you, the individual, right? And so if you go to everycampus.com, you'll see this screen right here. You can click on use my location. Maybe if you're going on vacation or you're going on a business trip, you can uh, just put in the geolocation there or maybe a, a zip code. And when you do that, you'll see immediately you're brought to where you're at. And so I'm here in the beautiful city of Canton, Michigan, just outside of Ann Arbor where the University of Michigan lost in colossal form uh, last night, but we won't talk about that. And so around me, I see these red dots, and these red dots represent campuses. So if I kind of scroll through here, uh, I see one here, Wayne County Community College, which I'm very familiar with, very nearby. And it says, be the first to prayer walk. That red invitation is your invitation to take that campus first in prayer for Jesus. And so I wanna issue you a challenge. Find a campus that's never been prayed for near you. And when you actually click that, start here, you can enter your phone, your email, and we'll give you a guide, a prayer guide that's been specifically designed to help you to pray for that campus near you. And again, our hope is to, is to pray on every single one of these college campuses all throughout the year. At a very high level, what every campus is really all about is revival. 
We believe that we are in the early days of a new move of God in America, and we want to participate with that, first of all, through a year of consecration and prayer. That's what 2019 is all about, is unity amongst these organizations, coming together to consecrate ourselves, prayer, fasting, all throughout 2019. We're serious about seeking God for a new move of God in our time. But from moving forward from 2019, we're hoping to catalyze gospel movements all across the country in InterVarsity through our 2030 calling and through our partnership with all of our organizations in the every campus space. We're hoping to see something that we've never seen in collegiate ministry in American history. And this new move of God is something that really does depend on you, not just the organizations who are reaching students professionally. Whether or not you're a 28-year-old stay-at-home mom with a your first or your second kid, you can push that stroller on that campus and you can pray for that campus. Maybe you're a, a 68 year old recently retired person who is nearby a tech school or a community college. You can drive down the school and you can download this prayer guide and you can join this new move of God. Whatever your place in life, maybe your children are 10, 12 years old and college is the furthest thing from their mind. If you want to get them on the college campus, you want to get them excited about what God's doing, take them and have the children do one of these prayer walks. We're seeing people from every single walk of life. We're seeing people from every uh, age demographic, every racial demographic, and all throughout the country, we're seeing people come together to do something that we could never do by ourselves. I believe that, that that's how revivals start. When there is unity amongst God's people, there's a passion and prayer, a determination and purpose to do something unprecedented, to do something that we could never do just by ourselves, relying on God's spirit, relying on his power to see a new move of God. And so that's my invitation to you this morning, and I hope that you'll join us. God bless.